All right, I just wanted to run through uh, the Bimmer light real quick and just kind of talk about this little module and you know what we all have going on here. So this is the, the case I made for it. Inside here is a custom designed and built circuit board to kind of handle all of the programming and code that we need. And then you've got a few different connectors. So upper right corner, this is actually the programming port that I use to program the boards. On the bottom right here is actually a port for um, a display. So I use this when I'm um, first configuring the boards just so I can make sure everything's working. I'll kind of show you what that looks like when they first boot up. Um, I bench test everything before I ship it out. And then this is actually the power cable. So um, on the end here, what I've done is just basically created some mirror taps um, so you can very easily tap power from the mirror. If you wanted to hardwire it, you can just, you know, cut the ends off here and you could attach to a fuse and hardwire it if you wanted to as well. I, I give you a six feet or better of wire here. So, um, the wire itself, this is actually like a really nice silicone wire. I did that on purpose so that it, it's super easy to like fish through things, um, so that the wire doesn't snag up. So a little more expensive, but I just think it does a little bit better job. And then the other wires are um, the LED and the photo sensor. So this is the photo sensor. Um, you kind of see it there in the end. So this goes up on your dash and this actually reads the, the light output of the day or, or night, right? So it's doing an actual live reading of the amount of sunlight or daylight. And then that tells the code on the box to either turn the LED on or off, um, and then it's shrink wrapped and, and this is flexible, but this is just to protect the, the wires and stuff inside here. But um, this really hides up on the dash really well. And um, so I've been pretty happy with that. And then the other side is the LED piece. So kind of looks a little funky. You've got uh, the wire here, but this, uh, this little piece actually took a really long time to design um, to get the angles and stuff right. You can see this little cutout here. So. There's actually a screw behind the, the trim around the um, dash or LCD screen. And so I actually had to make this so that it snapped in really easy. Um, you can see the LED in here and kind of a cutout here to make sure the light shines on the sensor. So this actually just, you know, if this was your, your display, this actually just snaps into the side. It, it holds itself, um, good retention there. And it's just big enough to cover the sensor. And then you'll see actually your headlight symbols above and below are not blocked at all by this. So it took me a long time to get this the right size and the right angles and everything. So um, kind of a small little thing, but it took a really long time to do. And then just, again, just some shrink wrap here to kind of hide it so it looks nice. So um, ideally, you know, you kind of have this snapped into the dash and then you'll maybe, this is about the only bit you'll see. And then this tucks back into the trim again. So. That's kind of the different connections. Um, and, uh, you know, again, the kind of the case here, these end things are just basically so you have a place to put zip ties. So in the instruction video um, and instructions on the website, you can kind of I show you kind of where to mount this. Um, but these are just so you have a nice place to kind of zip tie up all the extra wire and everything. So let's go ahead and get this booted up and kind of show you what that looks like. So this screen, this is actually just a super cheap screen off of Amazon, but there, there's code in here to make sure that it actually works for this. So the screen just snaps in there um, and it allows me to see what's going on with the board when I first program these before I ship them out. So. <clears throat> and so you can kind of see there's actually code in here that basically says booting up. Um, probably flashing on the video, but um, so I've, I've got basically the output and everything coded into this box. So again, when I bench test these, I run them for 24 hours straight before I ship them out and make sure everything's good. Um, you can also see, you know, the LED power status light. So I let you know that the board's on um, and there actually is a reset button behind here, but you should never really need that. So it's kind of covered up, but you'll see this in a minute here. Um, so there is the code actually has some delays in it on purpose. Um, so it doesn't boot up instantly. And so one of the challenges I was having was kind of at dusk um, or early in the morning when the light level is kind of, kind of a little weird as you're going under, you know, you're driving around, if there's buildings or trees or anything, um, it would actually start to, because the code would operate so quickly, it would actually fluctuate 
and it would essentially turn the light on and off and so your dash would dim up and, and dim down and it was uh, really annoying so I actually added a, a pretty decent delay to the code so that that doesn't happen so but what you see here is essentially what we do is is I output the value we're actually reading and then I basically say you know is it is it you know dim light very bright kind of so this just kind of tells me that everything's operating so again this is being read by this photo sensor. So this is actually the value we're seeing. So you can see that just jumped up because it's under this light. So we went, you know, it's very bright. And then that triggers um, this actual LED to be on or off. So that's kind of what's going on with the box. That's kind of how it works. Again, there's a bunch of engineering behind this board and the code at the end of the day, it's fairly simple yet complicated, but, and then all these different parts and stuff I made to kind of make it look um, and, and function well. So. Um, I just again, I just wanted to walk through this to kind of explain what we have going on and, and why I did the things that I did, um, just so hopefully that's a little more informational. So thank you.